Last Sunday, I got bored with the monotony of homework and decided to ride my bike to the park. The ride was a little more difficult than I expected, partly because I discovered my tires were flat, but mostly because after riding my bike around Bowling Green for two years, I had forgotten about hills. It took about 20 minutes to get from my apartment to the botanical gardens, and all in all, the ride wasn't that bad. I like the botanical gardens for a number of reasons. There's lots of wildlife to feed, like giant goldfish and turtles and geese. There are strange monuments. I especially like the one that explains Clemson University's military history. There's lots of woodsy and shady areas and places for you to sit and relax. There are paved paths, but there are also dirt trails if you want to be more adventurous. I stayed on the paved paths because I wanted to get home before dark. But what really makes the South Carolina Botanical Garden stand out is that it's not just there for looks or relaxation, it's actually trying to educate you. Many of the plants have little plaques next to them that explain to you what they are. If you really wanted, you could go on a garden scavenger hunt and see how many plant names you could learn and identify. But I came to the garden out of the information overload that is homework, so I mostly just walked around and looked at how pretty everything is. And then I got back on my bike and rode up more hills so I could get back home. I'm going to go attack this and I will post something tomorrow.